Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 32 of the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play series. Guys, I am just excited to get this one started. I, uh, you know I was talking about in the last episode we were going to do a mushroom house. I think the plans have changed a little bit. I actually do want to build a parrot cage. I was in the jungle biome on the Legacy SMP server, and I saw some parrots, and I was like, dude, I really want to do something with that. Oh, here's a bed right here. I should probably just pick this up since it doesn't need to be here. Ouch, kind of. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for coming back. Before we get any builds started, thank you. I just wanted to thank everybody for 26 k subscribers appreciate that also look at rainbow mountain where it's all done we also did this long play it's a hardcore long play on the series here where uh, we did this island right here i love this thing this is uh, just kind of brings it all together this little rainbow canyon and that's what i wanted to do on this side here you can see we've already started rainbow mountain right here on this side so this is going to be a nice canyon one day i'm i'm super excited once this is about to be a canyon. I, uh, oh man, I can't, I'm just already visualizing, vis oh, there's zombies under here. I'm already visualizing what this is about to be looking like, and I'm just, I'm extremely excited, but yeah, I need to stop wasting rock. I only have about 13 left. I should be able to make it to the jungle. It's only about, I think it's about a thousand blocks this way. Um, I do have a bed, so I'm able to sleep, but I'll have to grab some seeds, I guess, as well. I didn't bring any seeds with me. Nope, I did not. This is, uh, this is not good. Flying into the jungle over here, and oh my god, yeah, there's a jungle temple right here. Let's go. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to do this real quick, and then we'll find some... Never know what we can get here. Usually, the jungle temple loot is, like, honestly not... It's not the best. The other, like, the d desert temples, um, even, like, woodland mansions might have better loot, but uh, you never know. Sometimes they have good loot. We'll check. Hon honestly, this is good, better for mossy cobblestone more than anything, but might as well go in. I don't have my blast protection chest plate on, and uh, I'm a little worried about that. I was watching Grian's series, and he just got, like two hit uh real quick by the uh like in the woodland mansion and oh my goodness that is uh that was rough that was rough to watch so i'm trying not to have that happen to me i'm glad to have made it 32 episodes here now i'm kind of weird and i usually go about the jungle temple in a really different way here so i just break it i break the entire thing and oh we got our sticky pistons here that's kind of nice we don't have any sticky pistons yet i'd love to make an automatic door in a larger build but usually uh what i do is i just break everything down like if there's any mobs down here not any longer there's gonna be sunlight poking through that's how I do it. I don't really care. I don't like. I don't really care about the redstone, like tripwire, all that stuff. I don't care about these levers, all of that. Is there a creeper in here? Maybe. But yeah, I'll even go back here. Let's just. It doesn't even matter. Let's go. The the, the dispenser's gone right there. Dispenser's gone right here. Everything's gone. We just ma we just massacred this place. See, and now there's uh, gold ingots and bamboos. That's what I was talking about. The, the, like, there's tripwire. You can get, like, some random loot in here. But uh, for the most part, you're not really going to get mush in here. I don't even need that redstone, really. The, really, like, that, like I mentioned earlier, the mossy cobblestone here is probably what this is the best for, in my opinion. Also, I guess some sticky pistons, if you don't really ever use any sticky pistons. But, uh, but yeah, I might as well uh, just collect some of this and head out. I, I want to find some parrots. Do we have any... Yeah, honestly, let's go out and break some grass, too. I can bust out this way. Let's go break some grass, and maybe we'll find some parrots while we're breaking the grass, too. Honestly, I'm going to take a couple of these cocoa beans as well, because well, just because we also need them for the brown sheep in the uh, the wool farm, if we ever, if we ever want to make any more layers. But also, I kind of want to make a cocoa bean farm. I think I might have some cocoa beans back at the, uh, at the place. I'm not sure if I used them all for brown dye, though, so I'm going to take a couple of these just in case here. I also could take some vines back with me if I wanted to. I do have shears. I actually forgot about that. Let's actually take some of these back. I've never picked up shears in this world yet. Or not shears. I've never picked up vines in this world yet. You know, actually, I, I was thinking, now that we're searching for the grass, uh, we actually could go up another level, too. And oh, I forgot there's so many oak trees and jungles, but I need some jungle wood as well. Um, I could actually use some jungle saplings, too, so we could actually start a jungle tree farm or have multiple tree farms for all these types of wood. But, oh, man, I need to get higher up there. But yeah, I could really use some more of this wood. I actually might take down a couple of this. I might I might do this on stream a little bit too. And that's just twitch.tv slash wax fraud. We, we stream every single day there. If you want to check us out, feel free. I think, yes, I spotted one. Let's go. Okay. Oh, and I've fallen. Okay, let's go. Buddy, you want to be my pal? I got some seeds. Come on. I know you want to be my pal. I got to get these vines out of the way. Be my pal, buddy. Let's go. How many is it going to take? Are you going to eat them all? Let's go. I got one. All right, now all I need is really just one more, and then I can take him back with me. Hopefully he doesn't get hurt. Uh, and also, sometimes if you use the elytra, they, they, uh, you know, get on my shoulder, buddy. There you go. I was going to say, get on my shoulder. Sometimes if you use the elytra, they don't really follow you. Ouch, I just fell down pretty hard. I need to be careful, too, because it was just nighttime for a second, rained barely, and I think it was a thunderstorm. But looking for another parrot. This guy's going to be squeaking on my shoulder for a little bit. Dude, this little setting right here looks so cool. I love this. The BSL shaders in the middle of the jungle river. This is cool. After looking at this salmon, I thought it might be kind of cool. Like, there, it'd be actually super cool if there was like a, 
Oh, what's up, zombie? How you doing over there? It'd be super cool if there was like a like a fish that could like harm you, like a piranha. Other than like a puffer fish, of course, it can poison you, but like a piranha that could actually like latch on to you. That'd be kind of cool. I know there's some mods that have animals that do that. Look at all this bamboo too. Let's wait. Gotta do this. Gotta do this. Boom. Ah, so satisfying. Yo, spotted my dude from afar. Oh no, don't fly away from me. Let's go. Come on, buddy. You don't need to you don't need to go. In. Oh, get out of the water, buddy. What are you doing? Come on over here. I got seeds for you. Come on, be my friend. No. He took all my seeds. How many more seeds do I need? Just one? No. Wait, you're my friend. I almost smacked my dude. Come on now, buddy. One more. Nope. He still doesn't want it. Dude, this is the most stubborn parrot I've ever seen. My dude just straight up trying to escape. What are you doing over here, bud? Alright, eat the seeds and be Yes! Be my friend! Let's go! Let's go! He's tamed. He's tamed. We got two parrots. Buddy, land on my shoulder. Yes! Yes, this is what I'm talking about, dude. This is exactly what I'm talking about. All right, now we can take these guys back. I'd like to breed some parrots. Um, so yeah, let's take these guys back, and uh, I'd like to make, make make a nice little cage for them. I actually have a, a design uh, that I used. I, I watched um, a video, a couple tutorials on some like nice little parrot cages, and I also saw a picture that I saw on Pinterest of a design by Sheep Gigi, which is a YouTuber that I'm actually subscribed to, and I'll, I'll link it down below um, their channel because they're they're a YouTuber as well, and it's it's super cool. I'm walking up the back side of Rainbow Mountain over here, and it looks crazy. I've actually never approached it from this side. What's up, little parrots? And uh, I actually just read that, unfortunately, parrots only really have, like, an adult form, and they cannot breed. I, for some reason, thought that you could breed them with seeds, and you just cannot do that. So, that's kind of sad, but good news is, once we get to the... Oh, uh, they're following. Yes, this is fun. This is so fun. Yeah, I just actually walked back, because I didn't want to take the elytra, because sometimes I go with the elytra, and the parrots just can't keep up, so... Just I decided to take a nice little stroll. Walked past some stuff that I don't think I normally would have seen before. There's a bunch of beehives that I can go get now, or bees' nests, I mean, if I need them. Because um, I always like uh, putting those everywhere, but... Yeah, I mean, we're going to pop up. I want to figure out where I want to put this little parrot's house, or like a parrot... Is it, I don't know if it's going to be like a parrot cage. Cage sounds weird. Maybe like parrot sanctuary, it might be what we call it. Aha, look at the top here. We have a little hole that we need to poke in. <laughs> There's the one little pink that we need to get out. Oh my goodness. So what's up, parrots? How you doing? You need to stay away from there. This is uh, That's just a big old mob farm in there. So we're back home, and actually, if these guys can just sit down on the ground, I might just let them... Are they trying to get on my shoulder? I don't know if I, I don't know if I want that right. I just want them to kind of sit down. Yeah, you just, nope, never mind. All right, come on. Why don't you just get to the ground? Get to the ground now, guys. Anyways, I think I might be in this area. I might take out this stuff, right? I don't really need the beacon here right now. I can just, yeah, I don't really need the haste anymore. I did on stream about a week back, and it's been a little bit since I've been in this area. About a week back, I actually took all this over here and finished the other side of the nice little dragon statue. It's Master Majesty's dragon statue, and I put it in the link before. Uh, but yeah, it's right here. Super, super cool design. But now that that is finished, I actually have another area for a build back here. So that's crazy that the beacon's still going. Actually, I broke it. Usually by now, it's uh, it's already taken out. That's kind of that's kind of strange. But oh, I'm not gonna ask any questions. It's kind of fun. Oh wait, wait, stay on the ground. No, stay on the ground. Come on, ground. Yay! All right, now the other guy. What are you gonna do? Are you trying to get on my shoulder? I don't know if I want that right now. Why don't you just yeah, get on the ground? All right, so I got two parrots here. Uh, I'll probably, maybe, I'll, maybe, you know, probably that'll be another stream. I'll just dedicate an entire stream to just, uh, taking out, uh, like a little part of the jungle and bringing back a bunch of saplings and everything else I need, like a bunch of parrots too, if I can find them. Maybe if we find pandas or ocelots too, that'd be kind of fun. I, I would really like to do that. Or maybe another jungle temple, get more sticky pistons. Oh, it's all cleared out. This actually seems like plenty of space for the, for the parrots or the parrot building, whatever we're going to call it. But I'm going to actually fly over in Sheep Gigi's build. And remember, I am going to put the link in, but in Sheep, why did I even bother using a rocket if I just going to land 10 blocks away? What's wrong with me? Uh, but in Sheep Gigi's build, it looks like they did use the white concrete. And uh, white concrete is nice uh, just for these types of builds. So I'm going to grab some of the white concrete here, actually fill this. Oh my God, I need to take a lot of this stuff back. Actually, there's a lot of this stuff that I don't even need. Like I don't need the bamboo. I don't need this. I don't need that. We'll just, oh, the jungle leaves I might keep, but yeah, a lot of this I just don't need. So we'll take that. I'm going to take the white concrete over there and uh, probably do a very similar design. Again, I'm going to mention it one more time. I am going to put the link for Sheep Gigi's video in the description because I did use it for inspiration here, but I feel like this is going to be kind of nice. And what is this? There's like a floating tree up here. I think we got to get rid of this. Um, man, I am just all over the place and I'm also kind of lagging out a little bit. I wonder what's going on. So to start out, uh, just to very, just kind of, this is what makes it so similar to Sheep Gigi's design is, uh, we're actually going to start out here just kind of building in and putting the concrete down on the ground here, and this is going to kind of create like an entrance here. 
um, for that. But we're actually going to go up over here. It's going to be just slightly bigger. It's going to be also slightly different design as well. I'll just use that uh, video for inspiration. But white concrete is cool because it just looks so smooth. Oh my god, did you see that? Something is wrong here with the uh, with the FPS. You know what I'll do? Let's actually just maybe go down to 8. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think it's the B. There's got to be like a B glitch that's still happening here because for some reason the fps just keeps getting shot so i have to figure that out now that we got that white concrete done on both of these sides i actually did want to go through and i'm pretty sure i went over one two three i did go over three so we go over one two three right here probably nope actually i am wrong so we're gonna go right here and that of course that chicken's in the way we're gonna go up one over here to kind of make it seem like we're using like legos like building blocks just to make it seem a little bit more secure this is gonna be nice looking i, I hope i sure hope i didn't really do any creative testing before this so i really do hope it does look good but yeah we're just gonna complete this at the top and then see what it looks like Next, we're actually just going to go ahead and fill the whole thing up here with glass. I'm going to add the doorway right there and right there, but on these sides over here, we're just going to fill it up with glass. Probably fill it up with glass basically everywhere. Uh, but I did see in Sheep Gigi's design, there was actually a really cool way that they had put like oak leaves in the middle here and put trapdoors under it. So I think I am going to follow a similar design to that. Um, but yeah, just I'm gonna I'm still going to see what it looks like when it's all done. I don't know if this is exactly what it's going to be but i'm going to be following a similar pattern like i just mentioned but this is looking pretty cool so far i'm going to can i'm going to continue this roof actually i should probably just do that maybe i'll just continue that right there at a later time but let's go down here so i'm probably going to put a door in that middle spot and then yeah let's just go ahead and bring the glass up this way now that we kind of know what the inside is going to look like we can kind of just start to take out the bottom floor here just basically take the grass out and we can actually replace this with oak logs and i actually just wanted to do this and then strip them because um, I thought this was actually a really, that's probably my favorite part of the build, where you take some logs and you put them on the floor and then you strip them like that. I thought that was just really cool, and I've never really done that before in a build, and so I might try to incorporate that in some other stuff. But um, right now, it's starting to look really nice. I am going to figure out a way to get it decorated inside as well, because, I mean, obviously, we, I kind of want to put a tree in here. Maybe, I don't know, it's definitely not tall enough for a tree. Maybe I should have thought about that. Maybe an azalea tree? I wonder if that actually would still work. Next, the thing that we can't live without, I guess, I mean, you can't live without it, but something that we do want on the build, uh, it's going to get these composters on the side. This is going to make it look a little bit more beefy. I love that. I just love the way composters look on almost every build. You, you'll see almost everything that I do has composters built into it, and, and it's for that reason right there. They just look really nice. So I managed to, to grow a tree in here, but... Um... Kind of, it's definitely a little odd looking. So I'm definitely, I'm gonna do this. Let's just make sure that this is all fixed up. Let's grab the rest of these. I believe there's one more, and it's right here. Okay. So I mean, that's not terrible. We do want to give ourselves a little bit more room. Probably just do that. Probably just grab some of these up here. That way, you know, I'll leave a little bit of that um, out in the open. That, now that's fine. That's cool. So now that we can walk through in and out, um, probably gonna put some doors here. We can definitely plant some more azalea trees outside. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna move the parrots in. Come on, guys. Come on in here. We'll get it decorated a little bit. I want, I want, to, I want to make sure these guys are doing well. Come on in. Come on inside. I haven't completely capped it off yet. I just wanted to make sure that the tree would fit. Um, so once we get this glass in here, they should be able, all the, all them parrots should be able to move in just fine. Now we're just gonna lay the top here with some spruce trapdoor, and we're probably gonna lay the sides out with some spruce trapdoors as well, just to make, give it, just to give it some color. Add some oak leaves to the top here. Dude, these parrots just, they are just, just non-stop. They're just non-stop whistling. They're what, they, they're pretty good whistlers, actually, now that, now, now that I mention it. Probably just gonna add a couple of these, like, around the outside, just to, you know, give it a little bit more flavor. Decided to put some trapdoors and a couple of lanterns on the side here. Dude, these parrots are just whistling nonstop, man. It, it really is nonstop. I know I keep saying that, but I'm living it, man. Where, where are they even at? Are they on, Oh, they're on my shoulders. They're literally right there. What's up, guys? You just hanging out? You just hanging out here? I'm building a nice... I, I like this area so far. I'm going to get some of these grass blocks out. I wanted to actually like get just a little bit of like right here. And uh, that way we could get some of these birch trapdoors. I like the way that this kind of brings a little bit of contrast and color compared to everything else. I can do this over here. This kind of gives a little bit of an area for those parrots to chill. Um, I'd like them to just kind of fly away a little bit once they fly. I want them to like, if, as soon as I can get them to like rest in an area that's like reasonable, like not just chilling on the ground, I'd like to get them up here. That'd be kind of cool. I kind of want to add some fences down the side like this too to kind of beef up the build a little bit. This is actually starting to come together pretty well. So I think we may actually have this done here. I kind of, I put some vines everywhere all the way around. I put some 
Uh, it's just like a rose bush and a peony on each side. I finally got this guy just to chill over here. Got some bushes in the corner. It's nice and cozy in here for these guys. I got a little bit of a parrot. And again, guys, I'm going to say it one last time. I know I've mentioned like three or four times, but Sheep GG, a lot of inspiration for this build. And so I'm definitely going to put the, uh, the the description, in the, that's the videos is going to be in the description for sure. So get on the lookout for that and check out that video if you want to see like the tutorial on how to build it. I'm not really doing the tutorial on how to build this. So if you want to get more of a tutorial, definitely check that build out. But dude, this is about it. I kind of put some of the uh, fences right here and I actually might keep on doing that. Um, around the other sides. I was thinking about possibly putting it right here, which actually, you know, that doesn't look too bad. I think I am going to actually just do that. Um, I'll probably do that on the other sides as well. This is actually, I, I'm, I'm really liking the way that this thing looks here. I'm going to keep that there. Oops, that was an accident. Oh, that was a big accident. This is just, this is terrible. This is awful. Embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, if we do this side, I, I love that. It makes it just look a little bit more jungly. Actually, you know what? We actually have this too. <gasps> That's not bad. Let's do it on the other side. Let's do this right here. That's great, dude. I love that. I think the last thing I wanted to do was probably just hook this up to the rest of the town. We basically just have to, uh, you know, what? let's just let's get rid of all this grass. I just bone mealed up everywhere, but I guess we have enough room to basically. We could probably put like a fountain over here or something if we wanted to. I or I have, I have I have plenty of room. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just go straight through here like with the path like this. And we can end up... Oh, that was nice. That was good timing. We'll end up probably, like, putting, like, a nice little flower patch over here or something. That'll look that'll look pretty nice. But I'm going to get rid of some of this so I can make the path here. And then we act, actually will have to go through here. Connect it to... Oops, didn't mean to break all that. We'll connect it to this right here. Down here is where we get all the glow squid sauce. And that thing's been full for ages. But we can hook this up all the way around town as well. We'll probably just go around here. In between that guy. Go bam. And we're good to go. All right, so now we're pretty much ready to lay all this out. Laying the last pieces of tuff down on this path here, just kind of making... Oh, that's that's just not correct at all. I'm just making it seem a little bit, you know, a little bit more rugged here. Like we're taking the back roads, but uh, but yeah, this seems to be a little bit... I, I might bring a little bit of cobblestone over here too. I'm really liking this though. Like right now, I'm loving this path. If you check this out over here, we have everything just coming right here from the... Oh, I did not mean to put this bamboo right there. That was an accident. We'll probably have to shovel that out. Let's, uh, let's make you path right there. Perfection. Okay, so we basically come over here from the bamboo farm. You can come over this way. We're going to keep on laying some tough down, probably. Um, I don't know about the lights back here. I might put some more lamp posts on these paths, but I don't know about that yet. But I'm basically having the path go through here, you know, just bringing some more tough in. I love it. I love it. It looks good always. Then you can basically just wrap around this way, and then you're basically done. Like, you're in here, these guys are having a good time. I definitely, on stream, would like to go back to the jungle and get some more parrots, because these guys look good, and they're well-behaved, and they just chill. And, uh, dude, this guy looks cool, though. He looks like the toucan from the Fruit Loops box, but... Uh, hold on a second. There's, yeah, I mean, I think we did it. It wraps around here. Everything looks good. One of the trees that we had, we put a, we put an acacia tree, we put, uh, azalea trees, we put oak trees, we put birch trees down. We have a brand new... Uh, bee nest over here, and of course we we just needed we need a lot more bees. That's exactly what we needed over here. But man, I can't think of anything else to do. I think honestly we did everything we could. I don't want to put too much decoration on this, but I I'm really enjoying this build. I might put some more vines around the side, but. Honestly, other than that, I think it's done. Look at that sunset looking good. Guys, that's going to be it for episode 32. Thank you for watching. This is going to be the nice parrot house build that we have on the hardcore world. And appreciate you guys for watching it. Yeah, an, an endless thanks. Seriously, thanks again for 26,000 subscribers. Sorry for rambling all the time, guys. It's just how I do my videos. But again, I do appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. Do something nice for someone today and take care of yourselves. Again, uh, there is going to be merch coming very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. And then again, if you want to come to a live stream, just go to twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.